and that the House failed in being able to pass uh, a response to uh, the ACA. This was back uh, earlier this year in, in you know, late spring. Um, that was the most frustrated and depressed I ever had ever left Washington, D.C. Uh, and I was afraid that we had just demonstrated that we could not govern. Um, I'm still not sure we have demonstrated that we can govern. Um, I, I have gotten, though, more, um, more confident that the House has demonstrated that it can. Um, the, uh, we have over, it's about 240 bills that we have passed in the House of Representatives that are sitting over in the Senate right now. Everything from literally health care uh, down to some of the smallest, most six-inch puck kind of uh, things that you could possibly imagine. They are completely dysfunctional over there right now, completely. It is boat anchor after boat anchor procedurally. You can't get, uh, you can't get nominations through. It, it, it legislatively, it's very, very difficult. The Choice Act is a perfect example. We had, uh, we had, at the request of the Senate, had packaged everything in the Choice Act that was a response to Dodd Frank and said, "Okay, here you go. We're laying out the buffet. You guys come in and pick, figure out what you can, what, what you can pass." They couldn't come to a consensus on anything. So now we're going back and we're doing uh, markups in uh, not next week but the week after of like 30 bills. Uh, and we're going to send them individually over there. Say, okay, at least you know, we've got a cold. And these are bills that have come out of the House unanimously. We can't do better than unanimously. All right? And so let's cobble together a coalition of the willing. Um, it would be helpful if we had a little more, shall we say, clear direction from the White House of where it would like to go uh, on particular issues. Um, the, uh, it's hard not to feel whipsawed and getting a phone call from the administration on, on asking me to vote for a particular bill and then having uh, the president uh, call it mean uh, two days later. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, and uh, that, was, that was the idea of getting behind this, uh, this framework for tax reform. Try to make sure that everybody is on that same general direction. Ultimately, are we going to be able to do this? There's two competing theories. One, we fell on our face with health care. There's no way anything else is going to get passed. That's a sad day for America. Um, I, did, I have not gotten to that point yet. <laughs> I still am uh, cautiously optimistic. The other competing theory is, guess what, guys? Uh, we've, we failed on the response on health care, so we really are going to have to pick up our game.